Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, May 26, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today's diary actually was made possible by a reader, Earl, who discovered some interesting domains within an IP address block 95.181.158. 2 slash 24 that is hosted by MSK Hosting, a hosting company out of St. Petersburg. Now, Earl's observation is actually interesting from a couple of perspectives. First of all, I didn't even realize that Hurricane Electric uh, has a nice sort of passive reverse uh, DNS uh, lookup tool. You can enter an IP address or a network, like in this case, and it will return a list of host names that point or used to point to these particular IP addresses. Usually, Hurricane Electric is more known for its uh, nice free IP6 tunnel service and uh, sort of BGP information that they usually provide. And uh, this is, I guess, something they recently added uh, to their BGP toolkit. So Earl noted that a number of domains that point uh, to this uh, particular IP address range are impersonating uh, well-known brands like, for example, Instagram. One of the domains, for example, Instagram-teamsupport.com or Instagram account verification page dot com, which uh, just uh, shouts out the phishing page. But of course, these are the kind of host names and domains that are being used for phishing Instagram users. Now, Hurricane Electric's uh, BGP uh, pages also make it easy then uh, to figure out what other networks are hosted by MSK hosting, and uh, they're all in the same AS. Actually, it's just six different slash uh, 24s that are uh, being hosted in this particular ASN, and it only has one upstream provider, and that's Stormwall, which is an anti-DDoS provider. Of course, uh, malicious pages like this often do seek the protection of anti-DDoS providers because, well, after all, there is no honor between thieves and sometimes you have denial of service attacks happening between different criminal organizations. And for example, also Cloudflare is often cited as a company that's often used by criminals uh, to hide behind. Our handler Yi Jing was able to actually retrieve one of the phishing pages and it promised uh, the well, a famous sort of Instagram verified batch, uh, which uh, is of course uh, very sought after by up and coming influencers that are using Instagram. And VMware published an advisory labeled as critical affecting VMware vCenter server and VMware Cloud Foundations. The problem covered in this uh, bulletin uh, comes from the vSphere client, that's the HTML5 client, and due to the lack of input validation in the SAN health check plugin, which is enabled by default according uh, to VMware, it's possible for an attacker that has access to port 443 on an affected server to execute arbitrary commands with unrestricted privileges. And yes, uh, this plugin is enabled even if you don't use uh, vSAN. So uh, you are definitely vulnerable if you're using uh, this product unless you specifically disable it for whatever reason. VMware recommends uh, to patch this vulnerability at once. And Cisco's Talos research team uh, did release a blog post with uh, details regarding three different vulnerabilities in Trend Micro's home network security station. It's actually a security product supposed to protect your home network. But sadly, it not only suffers from the good old hard-coded credentials that would allow an attacker to create files, change permission on files, and upload arbitrary data. It also contains a two elevation of privilege vulnerabilities that could allow an attacker to then elevate permissions on the targeted device. Trend Micro made an update available and the username and password that can be used to log in is already made public. So you certainly shouldn't delay to update the device. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.